Front Porch Review. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're doing another Front Porch Review. If you've never been here for a Front Porch Review before, we just go with it. Cars drive by, people stop by, they wave, the wind is blowing, whatever it is, we just keep rocking. So today we're looking at our latest shipment from Battlebox. Let's jump into it. Oh boy, oh boy. Haven't even gotten to the first item and it's our intervention. And our first item is this, which when you look at it, you're like, it's clearly a strap to something, but this is from Lord and Field. And this is the sleeping bag slash blanket carrier or blanket slash sleeping bag carrier. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna set this up around your uh, bedroll. Um, it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but I'll get it set up on another item in a minute and you'll see what it looks like. Uh, value for this is 25 bucks. When I first saw it, I was like, what? Uh, but now that I see how it's connected, I'm like, ah, cool. And I was actually just working on a bushcraft bag and trying to figure out how to attach a wool blanket to the bottom, but now I'll use this instead. All right, our second item is this. This is the Piranha Fishbone 2. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically this is a knotless tying system. It says how to use fishbone products. So you can see that metal piece in there. And what you do with it is, you know, say you're gonna loop it around something to tie something down. The way that it loops through the metal piece shaped like a fish and cuts around the different angles and stuff, it creates a tension so you don't need to tie knots. So at the end, you just basically unloosen it without having to untie a knot. I've never used one of these before. I'll be interested to, um, to check it out though. Value for this one is 10 bucks. So there's what the actual fish looks like. And you're gonna loop the uh, included paracord around it and through it to create that tension. Our right, number three is this right here, which is the Typhoon Match Kit from Zippo. I was just doing a video, it's gonna be released soon. It may already be out, actually by the time this video comes out, um, about a basic survival kit and then if you wanna upgrade. These have become my favorite uh, windproof, waterproof matches because, uh, I'll show you real quick, a, just the sheer size of them. B, they're waterproof, so you can stick them underwater, take them back out, and they'll start burning again. And then C is this very little feature, but I think it's really important. Your striker is on the bottom, and it gets covered up with a rubber cover. On the Yuko version of these, that's not the case. What happens is that um, the striker's on the outside. If that gets wet and starts getting all mushy, you can't strike your matches, then no good. Whereas with this, it's covered, and just to show you, these are pretty massive matches. Just take a look, and they are that big right there. So, and you get some extra strikers as well. So definitely a great product from Zippo. Um, there is also, whoa, almost lost it. There's also a coupon in here for 20% off a, uh, a Zippo axe saw. I used to have one of these, I never really used it, but as far as car camping or an emergency tool to keep in your car, this could be something worth checking out, all right? So that's our third item that's valued at $11, $10.99. And our fourth item valued at $39.99 is this, which is a Lord & Field wool blanket. Comes all wrapped up in some plastic, but let me take this out and show it to you. So, nice wool blanket, there's a little logo. And before I unroll this, let me actually put the carrier on this so you can see what it looks like. All right, so here is the uh, wool blanket all rolled up with the Lord & Field carrier. And then we've got a couple D-rings, right? Like one here and here. So you could run some cords through that, throw it over a shoulder. Anyhow, now you got your bedroll organized, which is nice. All right, let me roll in some footage so you can see how big the blanket is unrolled. Nice size blanket. Um, I don't know what they did to it at the end, but it's not like all scratchy. So it's definitely wool, nicely made, but sometimes you get wool that like really like, you know, it's uncomfortable on your skin. That's not the case with this one. All right, now valued at 10 bucks, we have the zipper comp, zipper ball, zipper pull ball compass. So that's this. So basically you put it on a, uh, a pull for your zipper. Valued at, <coughs> excuse me again, valued at 11 bucks. And uh, it looks like it actually works quite well because it's very free inside the ball at the end. It doesn't get like hung up. So just looking at it right now, we got east is directly at the camera. Flip it all around. Yep, east is back at the camera. So that's good. So again, valued at 11 bucks. The Sun Company Zip Zipper Comp. Sun Company Zipper Comp. All right, now in the Pro Box, you're gonna get this. Here's what your storage box looks like. And then when it's all put together, 
It's this. It's a propane lantern. Now, it does not come with the propane. You can pick these up at Walmart for relatively cheap. And then uh, I will show you right now what it looks like lighting up the uh, area at night. Relatively easy to put together. Um, nice to have a lantern. I've never really used uh, propane lanterns before. I always use, you know, flashlights or lamp lamps that run off a battery. So it'll be interesting to try this guy out a little bit more than just testing it here. Nice base here. So you can, you know, set it up and there right here, you can see it, yeah. Set it up and leave it. So that's cool. Value for this one is $55.95. So that's at the pro level. And then obviously at the pro plus level is your knife of the month club. And that is going to be some sort of blade or tool like that. But kind of a cool thing. I've never, like I said, I've never really used this before. This is gonna go out to the Bushcraft Base Camp and we'll test it out there and see what we think. I've been using the um, Lumen Noodle and then also the new Olight Lantern to uh, light up that area when I've been having cookouts with the family at the Bushcraft Base Camp, but we'll, uh, we'll give this one a shot next time. All right, for our knife for the month, we have this, which is from We Knives and I think it's Civivi is how you pronounce it. I don't know exactly what the connection is. I don't know if it's like a subsidiary company or exactly how it works, but when you open it up, it is a uh, very cool looking knife. I think this is an Isham, Isham design. Got that carbon fiber there, D2 for your blade, flipper design. That's what it looks like. I didn't flip that so great, but cool looking knife. Sometimes I get these knives for knife of the month and I'm like, all right, cool, but I'm not gonna use it. This one I will definitely EDC. That is a, a slick looking knife, full flat grind, D2. That's your knife of the month. And um, as I often remind people, when I do these unboxing reviews, I don't do a full-fledged review of every item, just because I've got other items I want to review. This is more unboxing to let you know how you're doing, what came in the uh, what came in the box. But I like this knife. Very cool looking, very cool looking. Nice choice from Battle Box. And this one's valued at seventy-four dollars and eighty cents. All right, guys. So front porch review here, talking about the latest Battle Box. As always, let's hear your thoughts. Um, I say this probably like every other time, but just a reminder, you know, um, you've got your different levels with Battle Box, four different levels, you pay more, you get more items, more overall value. Um, the other thing is that with any type of monthly subscription box, you gotta let somebody choose the gear for you. Some people are like, no way. Other people are like, yeah, that's cool. Um, one cool thing about a subscription box is that you do get exposed to gear that you maybe, maybe never even heard of. They've definitely had lots of items that I'm like, never heard of that company, never heard of that product. So it's cool to check it out. But I wanna hear what you guys have to say. As always, you know, I get these for review. So that's different than me spending the money on it, having to do that every single month. But uh, let's hear your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. All right, thanks as always for checking out the video. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.